hey, it's Pete Thorne. Welcome to the studio. Check it out. You heard this on all the guitar parts on that track at the beginning of the video. This is a tiny half watt all tube amplifier called the Dark Gene from D. Kowalski. Short little disclaimer, I usually don't do demo videos for amps because I've got the signature PT-15 and PT-100 amp with Sir, but occasionally I will do videos if it's something that's like way, way left field from anything that we offer, and I think this fits the bill. This is a half watt tiny little tube head, and it sounds awesome, and it's kind of right up my alley, which is, you guys know, I love the plexi thing, old Marshalls, that kind of thing. And this definitely had that vibe going on. It's got this stringy, kind of really cool overdrive to it that's super reminiscent of late 60s plexis, metal panels, early 70s JMPs, that kind of sound. So there's two models that he makes. There's a, another one that's got a little bit more of a, uh, a modern kind of take. It's got a clean channel and also got an overdrive channel in it that's real high gain. And then he makes this one. This is called the green version, I think. It's got a little green LED in it. And this is way more of a kind of uh, Marshall-based topology as far as the circuit goes. So you've got two 12AX7 tubes in there for the preamp and then a 12AU7 single-ended uh, for the power amp section. And it, yeah, makes like half a watt. So as you can imagine, it's not that loud. I mean, it's a nice volume for sitting and like practicing jamming at home, that kind of thing. It has a very usable master volume as well. So you can turn it down to like TV volume, no problem. The controls on it are labeled gain one. That's the overdrive or kind of distortion amount. There's this uh, sensitivity control, which is kind of really sort of like a, a, a tone control, but also sort of adds gain as you turn it up. It, it really affects the mid range. Uh, as you turn it down, it kind of scoops mids, things get a little cleaner. As you turn it up, you get hotter mids and a little bit more gain. Then there's a treble and bass controls and then the gain two control, and that's really the master volume. Then you got the on off switch here. And then you've also got this three way top kind of off in the middle and mid switch. And I believe that's just like switchable bright cap, I'm pretty sure. When it's in the top setting, you get a little sparkly top end. The middle is just kind of a dark neutral sound. And then in the all the way down or mid setting, you get a real aggressive kind of like, think 1969, 70, 71 Marshall Super Lead kind of sound with a great bark to it. And that's my favorite setting for sure on this amp. On the back, you just get a, a preamp output there, and then you also get a speaker output, and that's what you plug into your cab. So for all those sounds on the song at the beginning of the video, I had this plugged into my old Marshall cab out in the other room, mic'd up with a 57 and an Audio-Technica 4050. So you were hearing it through real cab, real mics. So I'm gonna play a little more through it, turn the knobs, I'm gonna show you some more sounds. Uh, I'm also gonna solo some of those guitar parts outside of the mix from the song at the beginning of the video, so you'll get a real good idea what this thing sounds like and what it can do. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so I just cut the first guitar part in the song at the beginning of the video, and uh, I'm running into my pedal board, but I'm not using any of the pedals right now. I'm just using it for the tuner, really. Coming out of it into the dark Gene amp, and then I'm running straight out of the speaker cable into the cabinet in the other room that's mic'd up with a 57 and an Audio Technica, excuse me, 4050. And they're uh, about even in the mix. So it just sounds awesome. Here's the tone. <laughs> Now I've got a little bit of effects on the sound that I'm adding in Logic. Um, so why don't I uh, play a little bit more again, and this will be no effects. I'll take them all off when I when I mix this out, so you can just hear what the dry sound sounds like. <laughs> So that's the tone. Man, it sounds good. I mean, it's just got that great kind of like stringy, uh, like a nice modded JCM 800 or something. It sounds really good. 
with the controls, I've got this switch right here set in the brightest setting. This is, I believe, a switchable bright cap. I think that's what's going on. And it sounds like a, an aggressive early 70s Marshall, uh, you know, or late 60s, 4700 PF sort of bright cap sound. Um, so if I take it off, you'll hear right away that it's less aggressive and that things chill out a little bit. <laughs> And then if I put the switch in the all the way up position, you'll get a little bit of a bright, but not as aggressive as I used to record the track. I, I find all those sounds really usable, um, but just for the song, I wanted the kind of the most aggressive with a little more gain and cut and bite. <laughs> And that's why I use that setting. It just sounded terrific to me. Um, now, let's talk about some of the other controls. You basically got two volumes here, one that's kind of a, a, a gain and then one that's a, sort of your master, really. This control controls, the, the main gain control controls two different gain stages, evidently, that are kind of feeding into one another. Uh, and so it's pretty powerful. Like, you get a, a wide sweep of gain across a small range of pot. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> You can hear it starts to come on pretty fast by about, you know, one o'clock or two o'clock. Above that, to me, um, it gets a little loose for me, but you might like it depending on your guitars and single coils and your tastes. So I like it kind of down around two o'clock and then with the aggressive bright cap switch in. It's just got the tightest kind of, you know, I mean, I'm an 80s Marshall rock guy, so that's where it just sounds really good to me. <laughs> You can hear when I turn it all the way up, it gets a little fuzzy. And and so I like it, yeah, down around one, two o'clock. And then if I want more, I can hit it with a pedal. Let me show you what that sounds like. Let's talk about this control right here. This is the sensitivity control. This kind of scoops mids or brings more mids in and seems to lift the tone controls and add gain. So I'll just play with it for a sec. <laughs> You might ask yourself, is there any clean to be had? There is. You just have to run the gain two or master volume uh, up quite high and then run the gain one control quite low. Um, you will also get the cleanest tones with this switch right here that controls brightness off. But then I find the tone rather dark. So I think with the switch in the upper position, uh, which must be engaging a bright cap, In that position, you'll get a really nice sparkly, you know, cool, clean tone that then you can augment with some pedals. Let me turn on like a compressor here and maybe a delay.
pretty cool clean tone, actually. It sounds good. You know, you can add add some pedals. You, I could even hit it with a fuzz. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> So that's cool too. That's like a like a muff style fuzz in front of it. So you can definitely get some cleaner tones, although they're kind of martially cleans and it it's always got a little bit of grit in it if you hit it with a humbucker. So if I go to the bridge humbucker on this guitar, you get a substantially louder pickup with no compression or anything. But then I could roll the volume on the guitar down to like seven. It's a little bright, I find, with that sound right now, so I'll just back the treble down here. And now let's experiment with just getting a good basic crunch tone. So I've got this um, sensitivity control here dialed down a little bit. So it's scooping mids a bit. So the first thing I'll do is bring that up a bit and get a bit more mid-range in the sound. Okay, that's cool. Uh, now I'm going to bring up the gain to about, well, let's try it at 10 o'clock. Starting to clip here, so I'm just going to back down my mic freeze a little bit. Had them turned up quite high. That sounds pretty cool in kind of like your, you know, sort of JTM 45 sort of way, I guess. I'll bring it up a little bit further here and bring the treble back a bit. Turn the volume down just a hair. Okay, now check out what a big difference the bright cap makes. When I switch this switch here all the way to the down position, it's going to get now the tooth teeth of like a super lead. <laughs> So there's that sound, you know, and it really is, that's that difference between like the more JTM 45 response and the more sort of super lead sound. I'm, you know, using these terms loosely here, but you can hear what I'm talking about, I think. Here's the, the smaller bright. And the more aggressive one. Anyways, lots of tones to be had in there and, you know, pretty wide range of gain. You know, in a little thing that's like this big, it really is pretty fun and satisfying to play through to kind of scratch that, uh, that Marshall-y tube amp itch. Thanks for watching my video on the Dark Gene Half Watt Tiny Little Amplifier from D. Kowalski. This is the green version, the, uh, the kind of a Marshall tone version, and it's right up my alley. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I really actually enjoyed playing through it. It'd be a great little amp to to have at home in the rec room or something or beside the TV so you can sit and jam at low volume. Just sounds really cool, feels great under the fingers. I mean, it's a real tube amp and it feels like it. And when you stick a couple mics on a cab and record it, I bet I could have fooled you into thinking it was my old 71 JMP or something. You can check it out further at the link down there in the video description below. Click there, it'll take you to more info about the Dark Gene amps from D. Kowalski. Please hit subscribe. If you haven't hit the little bell beside the subscribe, you'll get an alert every time I put out a new video. I really appreciate it, you guys. Thanks for watching my channel. Take care. I am Pete Thorne. Over now.